your screencast is going to show you how to use Citation King to uh, create a reference. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Google and type in Citation Machine. Um, once you get to this link, you're going to see that there's several different formats. Um, I think probably most of your teachers are using MLA, but if they're telling you to use APA format, um, I don't really have a preference as long as you have uh, some type of format that uh, provides the citations. It doesn't matter what you use for me. So I'm just going to use this very first one, MLA. Okay, what you're going to see here is uh, you can even change your mind up here. So if I'd want to go to APA at this format, I could. So you'll see it says search website. So you can actually search from here. But if you've already found your website, so I already looked something up here, I'm just going to copy that URL that I already have. So that's the website that I want to use. Um, so I'm going to go back to my squirrel. So a little shout out to Miss Cosgren. So there's a reason why she loves it. I'm just going to hit paste and I'm going to hit search website. And you'll see it says loading. Okay. It's not giving me a whole lot, so I'm going to hit select. And it found lots of citation information. It just couldn't find a publisher or a sponsor. And that's uh, often the case with websites. So you're just going to go to the final step. Okay. And as you scroll down, it gives you all the components of a website or of a citation. You want to add a notation, so if it was an image, so if you wanted to add that here, that would give me more information about what you use that particular website for. And then you're going to create citation. Okay. Then you're going to see this copy and paste. And notice it says Control plus C to copy, so you can't just link that. At least I found that you can, so I'm going to hit Control C, and then I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and I'm going to make a new document, or if you've already created one, you can add to one, but I'm going to start my citation with this one. So I got this new document, and I'm going to paste it, and there is my citation. So you want to make sure if this is your first one, um, you're going to say citations or and whatever the name of your project is so that you can refer back to it um, and you can add the next uh, set of references right underneath this. So very simple tool for creating citations using the citation machine.